Uh, this gun safety program makes people safer. And certainly without the help of the media, it's almost impossible to get any kind of message out at all. So thank you for being here today. Good morning and thank you all for coming on a great sunny day. Since the tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut last month, the national conversation has been focused on guns, gun buyback programs, and all types of legislation that they are talking about at the federal and state levels. Here in Orange County, we have been doing our part to remove illegal, unwanted guns off the streets for years. That didn't make the conversation start here in Orange County. We've been doing it for years. Back in 07, when we first introduced Save a Life program, we collected 198 firearms off the streets to hopefully make people safer. In 2010, residents turned in 217 guns during the county's second gun buyback program. And today we're here to announce the return of this very successful program, our third. 2013 Orange County gun buyback program, Save a Life, begins tomorrow, January the 18th, and runs through March the 18th of this, of, uh, this year. During this time, individuals may turn in illegal, unwanted firearms, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no questions asked, at drop-off locations in our three cities and at the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Police departments in the city of Middletown, the city of Newburgh, and the city of Port Jervis will receive any illegal or... unwanted firearms with amnesty for the possession of those guns. In return, our generous community sponsor, ShopRite, Mr. Ernst here is going to speak probably in a second. He's always supported this. ShopRite has always been behind this program, and they donate an awful lot of money to help this happen here in the county, along with the county funding program. We'll be providing gift cards of up to $150 at all the shop rights. It is our hope this program will advocate the community in helping to get illegal guns off the street and activate those communities as well, while encouraging our youth to reject a life of violence and crime and gang activity. The success of Save a Life, however, depends on you, the community, the members themselves, people at large that are out there. Together we can make, get the word out, the residents, that if you are in possession of an illegal or unwanted gun, they can make a difference by turning it in starting tomorrow. A Save a Life program is a community program. There are many individuals that need to be recognized for their support and involvement in this very important program. First, I'd like to thank the three mayors, Mayor DiStefano, Mayor Kennedy and Mayor Potter of the cities of Middletown, Newburgh, and Fort Jervis. I also like to thank law enforcement officers. They're going to do most of this work. They always do to make people safer and much more secure. Officials of the participations and contributions to Save a Life program are Orange County Sheriff Carl DeBoyce, Orange County Chief of Police Raymond Betancourt, Newburgh City of Police Michael Ferrara, Port Juris Chief of Police, uh, William Warden, the New York State Police and Major Razzo, the uh, Police Chiefs Associations of Orange County, and all police departments throughout the county of ours. You are our front line of defense. You are protecting our residents around the clock, 24-7, all year long. Thank you for this program. would not be possible without all of you. Also, the, uh, there are some elected other officials in the room. Thank you for taking time to be here today as well. Thank you, District Attorney Frank Phillips. You and your staff diligently work each and every day prosecuting criminals and keeping this whole county safe. Thank you, Frank. I'd like to take a moment again to mention our Sheriff Carl DeBois. Thank him for the dedicated service to all law enforcement activities throughout this county, 
each and every day. Deputy Commissioner of Emergency Services, Craig Cherry, facilitating this event today, and I thank you for the efforts you do each and every day for law enforcement. ShopRite has been an outstanding community partner. They always will be for this county, and I want to thank Tom and all his staff for what you do each and every day. I would like to thank ShopRite's Vice President of Human Resources, Tom Ernst, for being here today as well. We sincerely appreciate and thank ShopRite for their generous support on the continuing commitment to people in Orange County. In closing, I would like to thank everyone. I want you to know that we are here, we are confident the county is here to help in any way we can, that this gun buyback program will work just as successful as the other two, and I hope even more so. But we do need your help. Spread the word for it to be a success, because only together, united, working all together on this initiative, can we make a real true difference on this Save a Lake program. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, uh, very short, unwanted, unlicensed, or neglected firearms are more likely to find their way into the hands of persons who facilitate their use in a crime. Any firearm surrendered will be one less weapon that could possibly be encountered by a police officer. Um, and that is so true. Uh, firearms that are just um, neglected, unwanted, um, people don't care what happens to them. They find their way out of the house or out of wherever they are. And, um, unfortunately, our people have to uh, encounter them. And so anything, any, anybody that can turn their, their unwanted firearm in, turn it in, and we don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, and also, the unexpected always happens when you have firearms out there that aren't paid attention to. Look what happened up in Webster, New York. Okay, where emergency responders um, paid the ultimate sacrifice. Firemen responding to a fire were killed. Uh, that even happened here in Orange County many years ago uh, to a fireman in town of Walkville. Um, uh, he was uh, permanently injured uh, by, that, uh, by that firearm. And um, I don't want to hear anybody say it can never happen in Orange County because it can. It can happen anywhere. It happened in Newtown, Connecticut. Um, and also, just so everybody knows that those firearms are going to be turned in uh, to the police agencies and the sheriff's office. Um, my office will be uh, taking the responsibility uh, to destroy, uh, for destroying them. Thank you very much. Can I ask our district attorney, Frank Phillips, a safety word? Uh, thank you. Uh, this is part of a multi-faceted uh, approach to, to law enforcement and, and gun violence. Uh, we've seized, or, or I shouldn't say seized, we've secured several hundred weapons over the past few programs. Uh, of note, there were two operable World War II vintage submachine guns that had a magazine capacity of 20 rounds, and when they were test fired, they worked. Uh, if those guns had gotten into the hands of a, of a criminal, they certainly could have wreaked havoc on the streets in Orange County. Uh, and obviously, uh, to anticipate some questions, most of the people turning in guns are law-abiding citizens turning in weapons that they would never use in a crime. However, it does get those weapons out of someone's home where someone who might be committing a burglary could see, take a weapon that otherwise would not have been available to them. And, and for example, when I told uh, one of my staff members that I was coming to this program today, uh, she advised me that her mother-in-law had passed away recently and the house was being cleaned out and there were three rifles in that house. And when I told her what the program was, she said, oh, can I get coupons if I turn in those rifles? And I said she certainly uh, could do that. So I may be turning in one to get some coupons for myself. But, but to especially recognize our, our partners from ShopRite, without whom this program would really not be possible. And also to say that we in the district attorney's office have a program 
where we will pay uh, police departments who will then in turn pay informants to get really lethal, illegal weapons, 9 millimeter pistols, off the streets as well. So again, multifaceted approach. Gun buyback in itself is not going to solve the problem, but it's an important part of a, of a multi-discipline approach to this issue, and, and I'm looking forward to its success. I anticipate the critics, but this is a, a really good program that, that is run uh, by the county. I'm actually going to ask uh, Mr. Converse to come up and say a few words about the uh, jobs that he's getting in the program. Thank you. I'm joined here today by Al Carpenter, our district manager for our Orange County stores, and Patricia Cruz, our manager of community relations. Uh, they, along with the thousands of associates, have a strong passion for giving back to the local communities in a very grassroots and real way, in a way that's very meaningful to our customers and very meaningful to our associates. The health and wellness of our associates, customers, and the community are a vital part of our core business philosophy. We are very proud to be partnering with law enforcement, the true heroes who go out on the front lines every day for us, and our friends in the Orange County government on this program that we think will provide a safer community for all. Thank you very much. Uh, we have to have a couple of representative speakers uh, speak on behalf of the entire groups here tonight. Uh, first one I'm going to start with is uh, Chief Mike Ferrara uh, has been tagged to represent all of our police chiefs here today. As you can see, there's a unified support from our police chiefs throughout the county, not just our three cities, recognizing the value. I'm going to ask Chief Ferrara to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Craig. <clears throat> the City of Newburgh Police Department every year plans several strategies to reduce violent crime, including gun violence. The central concept of a gun buyback, to make it, to make it clear, is to remove guns from a community that could possibly get into the wrong hands. It's a small part of a solution to a very big problem, but it's a concept that I personally believe in. City police in Newburgh are dangerously confronted and can challenge with gun violence nearly every day. <clears throat> I must report 394 gun calls within our city in 2012. That's a 10% increase over 2011. Skillfully, trained police officers in the city of Newburgh respond to and handle 33 hazardous calls of gunplay on average every single month. That's suspects with guns, shots fired, shootouts. The close calls involving successfully de-escalating these situations are too numerous to mention. Through November 2012, that's January to November 2012, actual shooting incidents were up 28% over last year, 32 total shooting incidents. Also during that same time period, shooting victims, that's bullet to body shooting victims, they were up 34.5%, 39 victims from January through November. As you notice, there's at least, in, that, in those, if you did the math there, there's at least seven incidents where there's more than one victim per shooting. During the year 2012, city police seized or took from suspects 14 long guns, 50 handguns, 184 shell casings, and 95 projectiles with bullets that were seized from walls, trees, and the bodies of victims. Since 2005, 23 of the 38 homicides were in fact shooting victims, including the August 2010 that I can remember so clearly, the shooting death of a 10-year-old child on Chamber Street with a handgun by another youth. That may never have happened had that gun been turned in in a gun buyback program instead of being laying around the house. I just want to review a couple of the procedures for turning in weapons during this program, the gun must be uh, delivered unloaded. It should be in a clear plastic bag. Ammunition will also be accepted, but no credit will be given. If being transported by a car, the gun should be transported in the trunk of the car. After the gun is evaluated by officers, a ShopRite card will be given. Rifles and shotguns will also be accepted. The gun dealers are not eligible. I speak for the city of Newburgh because I have the facts and figures on city of Newburgh, but I also know that the other, uh, the other city police departments and other police departments throughout Orange County have these same problems. It's, it's, it's escalating and uh, the life for, life for a police officer, the, the year of living dangerously just seems to be getting worse continuously and we're concerned about that. Thank you.
representing our municipal leaders, I'm going to ask uh, Mayor Kennedy from Newburgh to come up. I've also asked Mr. Villard to come up because they're just going to give you a brief spin on something that they, that they feel will they help uh, their program, program in Newburgh. I am I'm very grateful to be here today and, and proud to be part of this initiative. Uh, and I want to just say again, thank, thank you. Thank you to the county executive's office. Thank you to the sheriff's department. Thank you to uh, ShopRite. And the one that hasn't been mentioned is the Greater Newburgh Partnership that has donated money. Um, and to all of the people who have worked so hard, our own police department and other police departments, this has truly been a, a great example of public-private partnership working together in a cooperative, collaborative way, which is the way in which we're going to solve problems. We have to work together to do it. And, and I particularly I want to say thank you to my, my fellow colleague, Kirby Dillard, who was a, a, a big proponent of this. He was a, a push, he, he, he pushed this program. And so I really want to say thank you, uh, Councilman Dillard, for all of your efforts. And I want to encourage the citizenry as to what you said. This won't be successful unless all of the people listening to these newscasts and, and the people that are out there really participate and, and, and bring these guns in and tell your neighbors, your friends, your relatives, likewise. We have to reduce the violence if we're going to bring quality of life, safety, and peace to our community. That's what we're really all looking for, safety and peace and quality of life. And, and this, as, as many have said, it's a piece of it. It's not the solution, it's a piece of the solution. And I am 100% uh, in support of that and encourage everybody else that's out there listening to this and watching this to support these efforts. Thank you. Good morning. Newburgh is a unique city. We originally had planned to hold a gun buyback in the city of Newburgh in early December. But we were very pleased the way to be included in the county-wide program with, again this year. We last partnered with the county in a gun buyback program in 2010, which was very successful. As we have come to realize with recent events, the epidemic of gun violence is not only the problem of an individual city, but it affects communities across the country and around the world. When a, when a violent incident occurs, we are united in, in not only our sorrow, but in our determination to, to create a safer place for everyone, especially our children. It is not only the gun on the street, but the unattended or forgotten gun that is of concern. A partnership such as the countywide program provides positive assurance and reinforcement to anyone who may be apprehensive about turning in a weapon. In the city of Newburgh, there is, there is such support for this program that we will be holding two special gun buyback events to provide locations in addition to our police department where weapons may be exchanged for shot right coupons. We will be announcing details of these events tomorrow at a press conference at NCAC, Newburgh Community Action uh, Committee, 48 Grand Street at 9 a.m. And uh, we are very pleased that many of the same officials you see here will be in attendance. I would like to thank our county exec, Edward Diana, for his leadership, our law enforcement agencies, for their support, Shaw Wright for their support, the Greater Newburgh Partnership, our business community in the city of Newburgh for their support, our clergy, especially Pastor Jesse Howard and Bishop Jesse, uh, Jeffrey Wood, other religious and, and business leaders, and all who have offered their assistance with this countywide gun buyback program. We are all in this together.